Hello everybody, this is Scooter again from Alabama Backyard Wrestling, and I just want to show you that um, we went ahead, and this is the blue thing that was on our trampoline. As you can see, it is gone. We have cut it off. It was, it's been on there for a long time, and it was time for it to go. So we will throw that on the burn pile, and we will get rid of it. We also did some other stuff. Um, this is our new trampoline. This is what our trampoline looked like back in the 80s and the 90s when we were kids and growing up before they started putting all that safety crap on it. Um, back in the 80s and 90s, we didn't have none of this crap. We didn't have a safety net. We didn't have none of that. If you fell off and you got hurt, you just got hurt. And um, this is what a 19... 80s to 1990s trampoline looked like um as you can see um this is where our steel cage will be as soon as it gets in it'll be 10 foot by 10 foot um we're gonna probably put it here like i said if we can put it on the wrestling ring we will we're gonna try to get it on the wrestling ring um i have adjusted the ropes on the wrestling, all you do is you just turn the thing, the turnbuckle handle, and there's this little hook that goes on the rope, and you just turn it this way to loosen, loosen, tighten. That's all you do, and it loosens and tightens the rope. Um, like I said, I had to take that off, so when we get our steel cage, we all we gotta have is $360, y'all. If you wanna see us get a steel cage, or some kind of cage, so that we can do some more outrageous stuff. And it's, it's, the cage is six foot high. I'm five four. So if I had a tape measure, I would show you how high it would be off that trampoline, but I just don't have one. Um, hold on one second and I will go and get one. Okay, everybody, I'm back and I went and got a tape measure, but I'm gonna show you what six foot high is. This, my friends, is six foot high. That's how high that's going to be. From the bottom to here, that's six foot high. And that's how high that's going to be. So, it'll be across here, it'll be across there, and it'll be across there. This is ten foot in each way. So, it will be able to fit. Oh. But yeah, this thing can really hold up to 250 pounds. That's one of my neighbors waving at me, honking at me. He's probably going to get aluminum cans or something. But yeah, as soon as we get the donations of $362, we are going to put a steel cage. I really wish I could go out and buy it today, but I just don't have the money. Um, so if you want to send a money order to our uh, to the address that's located in the link in the description, then please do. Anything that you can send will be greatly, greatly um, appreciated. Um, you're probably it was $250 and $32 in shipping, and then they charge you a fee for shipping it out because I don't have a truck, and so I'm gonna have to have it delivered here. Once it gets delivered here, we can put it up on the ring on the either the ring or the trampoline, whichever one that we can get to go on the easiest without killing ourselves. Um, but I'm hoping we can get it on the ring, but like I said, if we can't because of the tongue buckles and stuff, then we'll put it on the trampoline. And like I said, um, we'll be able, there is no ropes. So if you get, so if you throw somebody off, they're going to hit that steel cage at full power. There ain't no nothing to stop them. You don't have to worry about throwing them over a ring rope or in between a ring rope. They can literally go through the rope, go running through, and just hit the cage. cage. And you can keep, you can, your imagination, it can be your worst, could be your opponent's worst nightmare. Let's just put it like that. Um, when I was a kid and we had a trampoline, this is what it looked like, y'all. No joke. This is definitely... 
a 70, 80, or 90 year um, trampoline because you will not see a trampoline like this stripped down like this. I was born in 79, in the 80s and 90s. We would bounce on a trampoline, my friend, and they would look like this. We wouldn't have not one people on it. We'd have like three or four bouncing around on it. And you would be bouncing up in the air. And sometimes accidents, yeah, they did happen when you were bouncing on these. And sometimes you would go flying off and you would land on your back or you would row or you would land on your feet. You, you would get hurt. But we didn't go crying and say, oh, mommy, I got hurt. No, you just sucked it up because you know what you were doing was stupid and you dealt with it. But um, like I do when I do backyard wrestling, if I get hurt, I don't go in and say, Dad, I got hurt, blah, 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 blah. No, I sit here and I just have to go through it, you know. And sometimes it, it might take me a day or two to recover, and then I go out here and I do more videos, and I get more hurt. But I still keep doing it. That's what people don't understand about backyard wrestling. It hurts. And like I said, that ring, it hurts more than the trampoline. Uh, matches in the trampoline, they can go forever if you're not using weapons. But like I said, if you use a weapon on YouTube and you bring the blood, guess what? Your your chances of your show being canceled is pretty good. Um, I do watch other backyard wrestling videos. The only one I really watch is GTS. I really like their videos. Uh, I was trying to watch AWE backyard wrestling, but I think uh, Kurt Bell sort of uh, lost his investor and he's sort of gone downhill and they did they do videos on that pro 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 or whatever it's called and they charge you a dollar a month to watch it um but the thing is I tried to do that and you can only post 200 megabyte videos so if you're seeing this I hope you realize you're probably not seeing the whole match you're paying a dollar and you're probably not seeing the whole thing because 200 megabytes videos I guess that's like three or four minutes maybe five I'm not really sure I'm not when it comes to megabytes and how long a video megabyte video is I don't know because at Alabama Backyard Wrestling when me and Jacob was wrestling we were doing 30 minutes to an hour uh, videos and um, so Patron or yeah it's Patron that would that wouldn't work for us so we we couldn't uh, do that um, but video.com you can go on there and you can post pretty much whatever you want, like we do. We go on vo.com, we, we click on the file, we put the file down, we put the name, Alabama Backyard Wrestling, we tell you what it is. Well, we don't tell you in the description what it is because we don't want to ruin the surprise. So we'll just put, I put my, where you can send the fan mail or the donations for our steel cage. And I hope that y'all will please send a donation. I don't care how much you send. Just whatever you can afford, please send it. Like I said, $362. I believe we can get this accomplished. And we will put a steel cage on here. And then things will really get going. Um, if we put a steel cage on here. And let's say I'm wrestling with one of those teddy bears. And I go and I bounce off that thing and I go running. Well, let's just say that for figure of speech that the teddy bear accidentally shifts and falls over. Well, I could hit that fence and I could hurt myself and I could end up getting a cut and bloody so don't think like I've, I've been in the ring with those teddy bears and all of a sudden you be moving and he just moves or you know he's like no I don't feel like doing this and he'll move out of the way and I'll end up missing him and I'll end up about sliding off this trampoline or I've if you watch my last video you see that teddy bear sometimes he'll just move on his own and I'll about miss him and I'll about end up hitting something and getting hurt myself so like I said, none of our videos were rehearsed. If Jacob's watching this, he can even tell you we didn't rehearse none of this. None of our videos are rehearsed. We don't just sit there and go, hey, we're about to hit the live button. This is what we're going to do, blah, blah, blah. No, 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 no. We don't do that. We would get in a ring or we would get in a trampoline. And when Kate, Katie is no longer living at my mom's house, she finally said, I'm tired of that woman. And she left and she went to stay at my sister's house. Which, if anybody ever, so if you saw the video of me and my grandmother getting into it, please watch it. It was that none of that was rehearsed either, y'all. None of it. So please go and watch it. Um, because I'm telling you, it got really ugly in that, and it caught, 
probably if I didn't have no self control, I probably would have grabbed something and wrapped it around their head. But I'm having to learn, learn that you can't do that in every situation in life, even though I wish you could. But you can't. Sometimes you just gotta bite your tongue and just you know walk off and walk off because some people are just too dumb to argue with. But on that bombshell, everybody, uh, I want to thank everybody that does watch our videos on YouTube. I know that y'all are used to watching me and Jacob wrestle, but like I said, I don't know when Jacob's going to be back. I haven't talked to his grandmother since that argument. If you don't know which argument I'm talking to, please go back and watch Jacob Gets Grounded 1 and 2, and then you'll see the argument I think on Jacob Gets Front on the Bus Part 2. So go and watch it, and I'm going to tell you something, y'all. Jacob called me after that video was made, and he said, I cannot believe you took it that far. I said, Jacob, I could have took it a lot more, more farther than what I did. So if you haven't watched that video, please go and watch Jacob Gets Thrown Under the Bus Part 2. And then there's this other video where I was putting down the tarp, and if you haven't watched it, you need to watch it. It's a funny one. Jacob didn't realize that I left the camera going, and he was talking to one of his friends, supposedly, that he goes to school with. And that video, uh, it got a lot of views. Matter of fact, I haven't checked on it yet but recently, but I think it might be at 300. I'm not sure. But that was the funniest video I've ever heard. Um, I'm not going to ruin it for you. Just go and check it out. You'll see a picture of him uh, looking, staring at my computer, and I'll be on the back putting on the tarp. Um, that's when we were doing the tarp, when, and I strung it down and all that. But yes, everybody. If you can, we're asking you, please send a donation. All we need is $362. And like I said, um, we, we will be in this um, thing for a good while. Uh, Scooter, you haven't been at your apartment. No, I have not. Me and Ashley got into a big argument, and um, I haven't been back yet. She has been calling me and leaving me messages saying that she needs to talk to me, but uh, I don't feel like talking to nobody right now. Um, especially her at this current time. Um, so I have not returned her calls. I'm not going to. Um, I don't know what we're, what I'm going to do yet uh, as far as the whole apartment thing and, uh, and all of that. Um, that's why I've been at my dad's house. Plus, my car's been broke down, so uh, my car wasn't running, and I didn't want to ride my scooter from Hueytown and all that in the rain, so I've been staying at my dad's house. So... My car is running now and is capable, but I don't know when I will be going back to the apartment of this time. Um, it was a pretty heated argument. I'm not going to get into it on YouTube. No, I did not do anything to hurt her. Uh, that's one thing I won't do. Um, I just walked off. You know, she was arguing with me, calling me all these bad names. And I said, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just leaving. I'm not going to hit no woman. They're not worth hitting half of them or, you know, or whatever. But, uh, yeah, I just got on my bike, grabbed some clothes up, and I left. Um... I have to, my contract don't run out until February. Uh, it's a good bit that when my contract ends in February, I'm going to move back here with my dad. He's uh, very old, and I don't want anything happening to him. So that's why I spend, when I'm not at the apartment, I'm here making sure nothing happens to him, and I'm doing these backyard videos, and it's really tough when I'm trying to do all these things and, and all and whatnot and so on. But, um, yeah. We took this blue thing off. We're gonna burn it later on. We're gonna burn it here in a minute and get rid of it. Um, like I said, um, I hope that we can get the $362 in donations. If we can, that would be great. If not, then I will have to come up with a plan B and I will have to buy it. And I'm hoping that we can <clears throat> put it around the ring. But like I said, if we can't, we will put it on the trampoline We'll zip tight and uh, do all that, but I'm hoping and praying by some luck um, that we can get it around there. And for some reason, that old lady, when I'm making videos, she always comes out here and people start showing up for some reason. I don't, I don't know why. When I start making videos, people want to come outside and be in them. But that's fine. People say, oh, Scooter's making a video. Let's go over there. That's fine with me. I don't mind. I wish they would stand around when I'm out here doing backyard wrestling with my stuffed animals and just stand around and watch. Oh, well, I guess I guess 
Molly the dog and Anna the cat enjoys watching them. Because when I come out here, Molly, she'll sit out here and she'll go and use the restroom. And then she'll sit out here, Anna the cat, she'll sit up there by the trees and watch me and think I'm a crazy human or something. But on that bombshell, y'all, I got to end these videos. Um, I got to go and uh, burn this thing. And um, I got to start downloading these uh, videos on uh, YouTube and VO. Um, YouTube, for any of y'all that watches this, usually I post them on Facebook, but I got blocked because uh, I made a joke about uh, people showing you your boobs for a $20 gift card on Facebook and somebody got mad and reported me. But if you go on Instagram, and I swear to God, if you say, hey, the first woman that will show them, send me a picture of the boobs, I'll send you a $20 iTunes card. I swear to God, in five minutes, your mailbox DMs are going to blow up. If you don't believe me, just try it. I promise I'm not lying to you on this. Go on Instagram or and uh, take a picture and say, hey, the first woman that first couple of women that messaged me, I'll give you a $20. Just say, I'll give you a $20 iTunes card for a naked picture. I swear to God, your DM messages are going to blow up. They they really are. I'm not lying. Um, but on that bombshell, shell, um, I got to end this video now. I got to download two videos. Both of them are going on YouTube and VO. And um, like I said, if you're seeing this on YouTube, and you want to go over and check out VO, go to www.vo.com. Um, my name is um, Alabama Backyard Wrestling 01. Just enter that in the search bar, and it'll pull up a bunch of other backyard wrestlers. Um, so you might want to check that out. Like I said, VO is a lot nicer. They're not mean. They're not restricting us. They will let us say words that we can't say on YouTube because... They don't like for us to say this because they want us to make uh, Little House on the Prairie videos or Sesame Street. Um, but on that bombshell, everybody, I'm going to end this video now. I just wanted to show you our ring. And like I said, I uh, loosened up the rings. All you got to do is little turn those little things and they loosen. You turn them one way, they loosen. You turn them another way, they tighten. It's not that hard. Any moron can do it. <coughs> if you got a ring... Which I know a lot of people don't have rings. They wrestle in trampolines. And I understand that people have to do that. You know because they can't afford a big ring. Or they don't have a job. Or they're just kids. And they don't you know. But on that bombshell everybody. I'm ending this video now. I hope y'all have a nice day. I hope y'all go over to VO and check out some of the other videos. And uh, music videos. And just they have a little bit, little bit of everything. I haven't really had time to check it out. Because. I'm always busy making videos for all you people that follow me on YouTube and are subscribed to me. And the people that ain't subscribed, I hope you will subscribe. And I hope that y'all will please send a donation so that we can get this big old steel cage. Because like I said, I know, yeah, um, due to the fact that I might get hurt or I might get lacerated or cut, all our steel cages will be on VO. Because I can't take a chance of getting hurt and blood dripping off of me and uh us getting our channel canceled off youtube so look us up on vo because once we get the steel cage any matches that we do in the cages we're gonna have to get put on vo because like i said any blood and youtube will cancel our channel and you just go to www.com and on that bombshell good night everybody